What if that's what dreaming is? What if that's not us seeing into other realms, but our ghostly essence exploring other planes of existence? I don't know if ramen lady pulling a fish egg sack out of my brain was in another dimension. I think I could trace that one right back to roots in my dimension. <laughs> Maybe. They make a lot of assumptions. There are some people that do think like dreams is traveling to other dimensions. I do think that's a fantastical way because that's entirely intrinsic to the mind. Whether or not people think of like the, the complexity of the mind as being like a... Uh, entering into another dimension I think is highly egotistical of the sophistication of our biology. However, that being said, there are certain like quantum interactions that occur in the brain that we don't fully understand. Like there, there's certain aspects of it where like our sense of smell is based on a different fundamental principle than we thought it was. We thought it was just a purely physical sampling. A chemical goes in your nose, it touches, you know, the sensors and you, you detect it. But actually it's based on detecting the, uh, the, I, I hesitate to say quantum spin because I'm not sure if it's the quantum or electron spin, but it's like literally your receptors are sensitive to the spin of the particles that make up the things you're smelling and they don't physically touch 